Location, location, location. What a great title. Somebody should make a TV show about it or something. We are five minutes away from two really fantastic river beaches in a much sought after area. So why is this such a desirable location? Well, as you can see, this is pure paradise and just a few minutes down the road from the house that we are talking about right now. I mean, literally three, four minute drive and you're here on this wonderful river beach. So here we are at the marina. I mean, they do throughout the summer. I mean, most of it's those activities are closed now. They do do buggy hire and wakeboarding. They've had uh, big wakeboarding events on and near this lake. Um, again, this is actually closer to the house than the river beach we were at a few moments ago. But it is well worth showing. If you, especially if you're a, a boating, skiing, wakeboarding, water sporty type person then this is the place for you just across there is a bar restaurant which throughout the summer is open seven days a week but uh, from uh, this weekend on or last weekend on it's actually only open on the saturday and sunday across across there is a fantastic river beach on the island. I mean, you know, fantastic. they're all fantastic. And that boat there on the end, for a couple of euros, and it runs every hour, acts as a water taxi across to the islands. So if you fancy spending, you know, an hour, two hours, three hours, picnic on the island, then that's available to do that. Back to the house. So. Let me have a pan. We're just obviously just coming through the, the entrance way. The size of that olive tree, it's absolutely massive, really old olive tree. So it's got sliding gates, as we can see here. And I shall pan around. The gardens are an absolute delight. I mean, this is pre rain for autumn where it'll all come to life. Autumn is very much like spring in this area here and you can see how it all just comes to life but this is very very well kept the owners uh, have put a lot of effort into their gardens uh, especially the lady who absolutely loves her plants and so i've just been uh <laughs> kind of almost banned from the the potting shed i think you might call it uh, because she's got some seeds germinating. So, at the front of the house here, there's going to be a porch uh, added to this very shortly, and glass doors. So, although it is essentially all, all but finished, there is some work going on, and I shall try my best to remember what those little bits are, you know, as we continue. But it, it's, a, it's a lovely property. It's got a swimming pool. It's got three bedrooms. One of the bedrooms is, I just love it, absolutely fantastic uh, with a dressing room and ensuite. But we'll get, we'll get to that. But it's one of the nicest bedrooms I think I've ever seen. Now, here's the, uh, the potting shed. And it's also in an area that you'd spend a lot of time in. You definitely spend a lot of time out here. Uh, the barbecue. You've got King Arthur and his knights sort of hanging out. That's why they brought the round table here. The regular, regular visitors. And see if I can get the side of the house in here with an upward sweep. So this sort of looks out onto this first recreation area. Um, <laughs> We've got someone scurrying for cover here, yeah, but this is um, currently used, I think, as a potting shed, but um, it could obviously just as easily be any kind of workshop that you wish it to be. It's spacious, it's got plenty of room, well, I suppose it could be turned into a little studio apartment if that's what you wanted to do. 
So we'll continue around. Oh, I've got to shut the door. It's got, as I said, she's got um, seeds germinating. Don't want to do, do anything wrong in that regard. So uh, up here, so <laughs> there's the, the man of the house scurrying off the cover. So we go up, the, the, the stairs are put in. And we come up to what's become a bit of a topic of conversation between uh, the owner, uh, his friends, and probably more than one estate agent. What do you do with this building apart from obviously, tie, you know, re render it and tidy it up, which is in the process of getting done. But it services the pool. I um, mean, the actual pump house is not. It's uh, that, that's all downstairs. But it's lovely swimming pool with absolutely fantastic views all the way off this patio area. It really is a delight. Just also like to mention, we are listing properties at an enormous rate of knots at the moment. So if you do want to keep up, do like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is going to be a bathroom. It is pre-installed for a bathroom. All the plumbing is in. So it's going to be uh, plasterboarded out and finished. And there will be a bathroom. There's also going to be a, another central post put in here, which would make it easy to uh, close off the, uh, the, bu the building and either use it as an office or a winter lounge, summer lounge. Well, maybe not a summer lounge, but it'd, be a, it'd make a really good winter lounge. So they've got views of the pool. The land goes all the way back there. You can see the boat. I'm going to take you over there and take a look because you get a better look at the garden. It's an outside shower here, as you can see, which services the pool. Um, I can never decide which is my best route, but I think, I think we'll go this way. And we shall walk up as you as you can see i've still got the <laughs> the concrete mixer and little bits left over um because he's been working really really hard the last year to get everything finished and he's nearly there very nearly there there's just a few more jobs and he's been doing much of the work himself so um you don't you get obviously get specialists in where uh the skill levels get beyond him but uh, as you can see it's also vehicular access from the road on the other side so which would be <laughs> really handy of course if you wanted to get a boat out now obviously a lot of people have boats in this area for the simple reason you are five minutes from from the lakes which are a natural wonder i mean they <laughs> They genuinely are one of Portugal's finest assets, are the lakes in this area. They are absolutely stunning. You can see by the terrain and the long distance views, just what a beautiful area we're in. And what a desirable residence we're in. You can see the, the quality of the villas um, in, in the local area. There's very little left here. There's no derelict barns and buildings and all the rest of it, all it's gone to few. Let's just put it that way. There are leftover um, building materials and, and what have you all over the place, but I'm sure that they'll all be tidied away. We still see the original excavations here because um, this must have been all cut away with a very large machine. Yeah, all, all of this, all of this, this will be taken away and all the little bits finished, um, all, all included within.
the price, of course. So, we shall, I think, go down and enter in through the kitchen entrance and take a stroll through the house. I do apologise, I'm pointing into the sun a little bit here. And I've only got a little screen on the camera, so <laughs> not the easiest thing. Here's the lounge, which is um, you know, a really nice size lounge, as you can as you can see. It's uh, got all the usual stuff, massive sofa, actually, <laughs> absolutely huge sofa, solid board. Um, but it, it also has the staircase going up the stairs and plenty of light. I mean, I put, I've needed to not put any lights on because frankly it wouldn't make any difference to the video quality. Here's the, the doorway into the dining area of the kitchen, because it is a kitchen diner. You've got like a, a, I mean, I call it a Welsh dresser, but it's probably got nothing to do whatsoever with Wales. And the kitchen, which is fully equipped. There is space for a larger cooker. Um, you could put a range into the space, but it's got, you know, American fridge, oven, microwave, plenty of storage, and it's got, you know, fairly standard foreign cooker there, but it is big enough that you could put a large one if you required that. It, it's all done with really good quality um, tops and cupboards and drawers. It is a really, really nice place to be. I can imagine cooking here, entertaining my guests, sitting here, then maybe taking it outside in the summer, or of course in the winter we might stay here. This is a really nice place to relax, watch your favourite TV shows, um, whatever it is you do to relax. So here's the, the stairs and they go up, of course, onto a very nice landing area. There. Actually reminds me of a hotel I worked always did, but <laughs> used to press the linen on an area just like this. Very, very long time ago. Now, and do you know what? I'm going to leave the best <laughs> bedroom to the last minute. So let's um, let's go down here. There's absolutely nothing wrong with these bedrooms either. Now, here we here we are. It's a perfectly uh, not good double sized bedroom. There's the patio space that we just walk through, just around the corner, of course is that area that could be, that is the pool, and could be turned into whatever you like to turn it into with that rather large uh, building that we filmed a few moments ago. Again, big double bedroom with an emphasized bed in it, just to give it context. Uh, also leads, this one leads directly out onto the pool. So there you have it, and a glimpse of the views, and repurposed wardrobe, all nicely painted and trimmed, and all the rest of it. So let's go into that master bedroom I spoke to you about a moment ago, catching myself in mirrors, which I really don't like doing. But uh, here we go. This bedroom is absolutely massive. It really is. Again, that is a huge bed and it seems dwarfed. But it's a really wonderful bedroom. And it doesn't stop here because as we leave the bedroom, you come into this other 
which could be a bedroom in its own right. I mean, if you had a small child, you could, um, you know, that still doesn't like to be apart from mummy and daddy. This could actually be a child's bedroom. I mean, it's, I mean, it's a double-sided bedroom, but it's it's a dressing room and it's where they keep their linen and all the rest of it at the moment. But it, it really doesn't have to be that. And here is the the ensuite that goes with it. So it's probably a little, little trouble putting it to the ship. Now look at them. They're on their fourth attempt at the moment. They're waiting for delivery. Everyone that they've ordered hasn't quite fit. But um, so, I mean, it's a beautiful villa and a beautiful, a much sought after location. Now, I do have a feeling I did the bedroom and I didn't do the bathroom. So I'm going to. Do that now. So here's the bathroom. This is like the the family or the main bathroom. Of course, there will be another bathroom down at the pool area, outside bathroom. So we've got three bedrooms, two bathrooms, very nice shower actually, and the tiles are wonderful. I like the tiles throughout this house. And <laughs> I don't know if you're regular views about it. Sarah would have made much more of the tiles, I'm I'm sure as as she does so um i shall say adios and see you soon please do like and subscribe